Hey everyone, I'm back again and uh, hope you all have seen my previous videos and uh, it was a short trial video which I have made for you all and uh, I think so you all have liked my video. So today we'll be starting with a new unit uh, which is reproduction of class 12th and the first chapter is reproduction in organisms. So here we start. Uh, first topic which comes in this chapter is about lifespan. So it mainly talks about what is lifespan. So the period, period from birth to natural death is known as lifespan. So uh, lifespan is not correlated with sizes not co related with sizes as you all know that uh, if a person is bigger in the physical appearance it doesn't mean that they will have a much more longer lifespan so it uh, some examples are given you have to remember these examples of your NCRT textbook. Uh, the sizes of crows and parrots are not very different, yet their lifespan show a wide difference. So example number one is about crow and parrot. And second example is talking about mango tree has much shorter lifespan as compared to people tree okay now we'll be moving ahead um, now the next topic which comes is about reproduction So what it says, uh, this definition of reproduction we know from our uh, lower classes that it is a biological process in which organism give rise to young one which is known as offspring similar to itself so what happens with that offspring it grows then mature and then produce new offspring so what is the uh, plus point of reproduction that it helps in the continuity of species generation after generation so um, what are the several factors which which is responsible for reproduction so factors responsible for reproduction are habitat internal physiology and several others factors okay uh, so you know that there is two kind of reproduction over here which we'll be talking about number one is asexual and number two is sexual so asexual reproduction uh, in which single parent
with or without involvement of gamete formation and next we'll be talking about sexual reproduction when two parents of opposite sex participate in reproduction So, in asexual reproduction, uh, the offspring which is produced is identical to one another and are exact copies. So the offspring which is produced are the exact copies of the parent and uh, such identical which uh, identical offspring which is morphologically and genetically similar is known as clone. What it is known as clone is what is very important. So uh, asexual reproduction is common among it's common among single cell organisms. and uh, plants or animals with simple organization and uh, in protest and monarants and the mode of reproduction in them is cell division so here we go ahead three so the mode of reproduction in them is cell division so many single cell organism reproduce by binary fission which we all know binary fission Second, we know east in east there is a formation of buds, and uh, we all know that in penicillin it's uh, conidia. In sponges, it is gemmules. In chlamydomonas, it is zoo spores binary fusion in amoeba buds in hydra conidia in penicillin gemmules in sponges and zoospores in Chlamydomonas. So, uh, one new topic is added on your NCRT this year. So, it says that uh, amoeba withdraws its pseudopodia then secretes three layered heart covering which is known as cyst around itself and this process is known as incestation 
so interested amoeba divide by fission and uh, produces minute amoeba or pseudo podio spores so this phenomenon uh, when the cell uh, when the cyst is burst out okay the cyst is burst out and spores are liberated so this phenomenon is known as sporulation and now we'll be moving uh, to um, kingdom fungi and simple plants uh, reproduce through special asexual reproducing structures we all know this okay so term asexual reproduction and we all have uh, listened about vegetative propagation also so these two are similar things uh, so vegetative reproduction is seen in potato we know eyes of potato second one is ginger rhizome of ginger third one is agave bulbul of agave and uh, you all might have studied this in your ninth standard also uh, bryophyllum leaf buds and fifth one is the most important one many questions are asked about this uh, water hickant offset so you all know that water hickant is also known as terror of bengal scourge of water bodies mm, questions from this are asked so what is the most important thing about this is that it is the most invasive weed means that it spreads out so fastly that you can't uh think also and it drains out oxygen so because of uh draining out oxygen all the aquatic animals just die because of this and uh, this was brought in to our country because of its beautiful flowers and uh, shape of leaves and you just can't think about that it just propagates so so fast so fast and it's very difficult to get rid of them you can see everywhere near your area with where you are living you might have seen these plants now we'll be continuing in our next video so i hope that you like my video uh so do like share and subscribe my channel and uh, please share my video with all your friends uh, those who want a good quality of teaching because i have seen that there are very less biology videos online so if you can uh, kindly share with them and uh, yeah